So guys, and welcome back to my channels, Purse Fanatic and Fashion Fanatic, depending on which one you're watching from. If you love all things purses, definitely hit the subscribe button below for my Purse Fanatic channel. If you like a little bit more in addition to purses, subscribe to my Fashion Fanatic channel. And if you like both, hey, subscribe to both. So guys, in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, I decided to do a video dedicated to the heart bag. So guys, I am in the market for a heart bag. I've not yet decided which one I want, but I have compiled a list of 15 heart bags that I am considering. So if you guys have a heart bag and you can comment on whether or not you like it or not, or if you even have a recommendation for a heart bag that I haven't mentioned today, comment on that as well, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And of course, number one on my list is none other than the iconic Chanel heart bag. Now, of course, this, this bag, um, I would only be able to purchase this one um, through a resale consignment um, site because, of course, they don't make this bag anymore. And even if they did make it, guys, it was so impossible to get. I knew I probably wouldn't be able to get it from the store either. I'd have to get it from another route. But it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I've heard mixed reviews. Some people, you know, have issues with the quality. Some people love the bag to death. So I, I like the style. I like the way it looks. It's a gorgeous bag. Now, what I will say is um, I like the fact that it comes in different sizes. I probably would be interested more in the large size. Um, but I guess um, the, the issue is because it's in such limited uh, availability that you will be paying a hefty sum for this bag. Okay. And I looked into it and it's running close to $5,000. So I don't know if that's something I'm willing to do for that size of bag, but I think it's definitely a gorgeous bag. And I thought I should mention it definitely because it's so iconic, okay? All right, guys, number two on my list, of course, none other than the Coach heart bag. I've seen uh, multiple people do comparisons between a Chanel and a Coach bag, and they actually say they kind of like the Coach bag a little bit better because of the quality. So definitely is something I would be interested in. I like the fact that it is a leather bag. I like the fact that it is a decent size bag and I like the cost. So you can get that bag in a range of between 250 to 300. The one I like more is the quilted bag. I think it also comes in just a solid leather uh, color as well, but I'm more interested in the, in the quilted. I've seen it in red. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've seen it in black. So definitely um, that's one that's high on my list for consideration for a heart bag. Third, guys, is none other than the beautiful Alaya heart bag. Um, I think that bag is gorgeous as well. I've seen it in the red. I've seen it in the black. And it comes in leather. Um, very, very gorgeous. Now, it is on the um, higher range as far as cost. Uh, I think it's running around 1000 to uh, $1,200, uh, depending on where you purchase it from. But I think it's a decent sized bag. I think it's very stylish. I think it's going to be around for a while. I think it is. And, um, you know, it's definitely something that's, you know, uh, on my list. Um, because, like I said, with the Chanel, it's a little bit more pricier. So, I, I like the fact that the price point is a little bit more doable than the Chanel bag. but And, and it's a gorgeous bag. Um, fourth up on my list, guys, this is also another bag that you would only purchase on the uh, resale market. And this is the Dior heart bag. I haven't seen it too many of them around though on a resale market. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people just love it. They don't want to get rid of it. But the only downside that I see to that bag, guys, it's very tiny. It's called the mini heart bag. And it looks like you can't get much in there. I've seen people do reviews on it. And they basically said the only thing that's going to fit in that bag is basically your credit cards. And they barely can fit in there. Maybe some keys, lipstick, and that's it. So you're not going to get a whole lot in the bag. But I do think the style of the bag is absolutely absolutely gorgeous. And, um, you know, I for me personally, not because I, I want something a little bit bigger. You know, if you see my other videos, I'm not really a small bag type of a person. So that's going to be something that for me is going to be lower on the list. But I thought I'd bring it up because I think it's a gorgeous bag. Um, next up guys, um, this person here, I don't know much about them. I just happened to come across the bag. I thought the bag was gorgeous and that is the Simon Miller heart bag. Um, I love it. I do. The only thing I don't really care for too much is the material. Um, you know, I don't know what kind of material it is, but it looks more like a, kind of like a, more like a plastic kind of material. Like it's a heart casing sort of a purse. So 
I mean, it's gorgeous, um, but I think I'm looking more for um, maybe a leather bag. So that one may not be uh, my cup of tea, but I will say that um, if you get it, it's, you're going to be one of few who have it. You're not going to see a lot of people walking around with it. And then the price point is on point, meaning the price is not too much. I saw uh, it runs around 300 to 345 so I think it's I think it's definitely an option uh, for someone uh, who's in the market for a heart bag and don't mind that it's not a leather bag all right so that was number five guys number six guys is Kate Spade um, I like this bag again leather bag as you know I love a good leather bag and the bag it reminds me sort of like the coach bag um, the the all leather bag that they have so um, definite option is a little bit less expensive than the coach bag. I think the coach is around, like I said, 250 to 300. The case spade is around 175. And if you, uh, search around, you might even be able to get it for less. Um, but I think it's a, it's a gorgeous purse. And if it's anything like, um, the case big bag, um, that I have now, the leather is, is beautiful. So I have another crossbody case spade and, and the leather is absolutely gorgeous. Um, now, they also have the Kate Spade in a quilted uh, color as well, kind of like the Coach Purse as well. So, they both come in the same um, type of design, the Coach and the Kate Spade, uh, except for the Kate Spade is on a, um, it's a lesser um, a cost than the Coach Purse. But I think they probably are just as equal as quality. So, either one of those two, Kate Spade, Coach, I'm kind of feeling both of those. So, those are going to be higher up on my list. All right, guys, so let's move on to number seven. Guys, now, I didn't even know they had a heart bag by this next brand. Um, so I just happened to see it when I was looking it up, and I thought I would bring it up. Uh, but it's not really my cup of tea. Um, but if somebody's a big Balenciaga fan, you'll love this bag. So Balenciaga has a heart bag out. I didn't even know that. Um, it's... Um, it's, it's kind of a tiny bag. Now, for me, I don't necessarily care for the metal hardware on the bag, but that's what is the signature design for Balenciaga. So that's the only way people are going to know, oh, you got a Balenciaga bag, is, is that design. But for me, on a heart bag, eh, it's a little too much because the bag is so small. To have all this hardware on there, you can't really even, you know, appreciate the heart shape of the bag. But, you know, to each his own, if you have one, you know, more power to you, you know, uh, if you're a Balenciaga fan, you're a Balenciaga fan. It doesn't matter what the shape of the purse is. So guys, this one is, uh, something that I thought I'd bring up. The price point, um, is around 1600. I think it's kind of expensive for a bag that size, but you know, it's not too, too bad when you think about other bags, right? Like a Chanel bag when they're talking about $5,000. So that's definitely an option. Now guys, next up, I super love this bag. This one is definitely going to be higher up on my list. And that is the Caperni heart bag. It is so cute, guys. And what I like about this bag is that it's different from all the heart bags that are out there. You know, all the heart bags tend to be like this, you know, signature heart, you know, with this puffy kind of appearance. This one is a, a flat appearance. And I like how the, the actual um, handle itself is kind of embedded in the heart. So I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Um, and the price point is not too bad either. You can find it around $400 to $500. And what I like about it, it does come in the leather option. It comes in the patent leather and the leather option. I would be more interested in the leather option. And I like the black color and I like the red. So either one of the colors will go for me. And I just like the style of it. So that's higher up on my list, along with the Kate Spade and the Coach Bag. All right, guys, moving on to number nine. This one is not one that I've seen around, and of course, I love bags like that, bags where not a lot of people have it. Um, and this one is by uh, a, a person that, you know, I'm quite not familiar with, but, you know, I may just be under the stone, not knowing much, but this one is called, this one is by Amy Kestenberg. I think it's so cute. It kind of reminds me of the Caperni bag. It has that little uh, handle that's kind of embedded in the heart itself. Um, I love the fact that it is a leather bag as well. Um, I like the black one. It has some sparkles on it, so it does give it something different. I like the red one too, but it's just a cute bag. It's a gorgeous bag, um, and it's different. It's different. That's what I like about it, and the price point is very good. Um, from what I've seen, it's running around 170 
And, you know, that's definitely an option uh, for me. But I really, really love it. And I love the, the, the shape of it. I love the colors, you know, and I love the style. So definitely something I would think about. All right, guys, moving on next. Um, a lot of people don't like this brand uh, as much. I kind of have just gotten into it. I've seen a lot more of it. And that's the Moschino brand. Um, they have a lot of heart bags, guys, a lot. The one that I thought was the cutest, the most different, is this black one with the shiny um, kind of appearance to it. It kind of looks sparkly, but I don't think it's a sparkle. It just may be more uh, a metal appearance. I mean, a lot of um, metal pieces on it, but it's super cute. Um, it is kind of pricey as well. Uh, it's in the $1,000 range. Now, do they do have some other ones that aren't as, um, as shiny, um, that are kind of more plain, like a plain solid color. And those are a little bit less expensive. Um, those are around the, I think like $300 range. Whereas the other one, the sparkle one, you, you're looking at $1,000. And then they have some other ones that are even more expensive. So they have a lot of different ones out there by Machino. So if you're into Machino, then definitely um, check it out. They have a lot of options for heart bags. All right, guys, let's move on. Next, number 11. Guys, this person, I have not heard a lot about this person, but I, I saw the purses. And if you're really looking for something different, if you don't want the typical heart bag, but you still like that kind of pouchy appearance of the heart bag, then guys, Kurt Geiger is one that I I saw when I was looking at the heart bags. It's very different. They have some with bowls on it. They have some with little emblems on it. The one I saw that really caught my eye was the heart bag with all these different kind of metallic colors uh, striped along the heart bag. And I thought that was a, a beautiful um, play on the heart bag. And so that one, guys, uh, is, uh, I don't know if they come in leather or not, but they don't look like it to me. Uh, but that one is running around 120 to 200. Um, you probably could get that on sale. It probably like a Bloomingdale's or something like that. If you really, really, you know, are interested in paying a lesser price for it, but definitely, you know, a good option for someone that's looking for something different for a heart bag. All right, guys. Um, next up, this is another one that is something you have to get from, um, like the, the resale market or, you know, from a consignment, um, site. And that guys is the, uh, Gucci heart bag. I think it's super gorgeous. Um, this bag here. Now this one, um, it is a little bit more pricey. I have seen it run around $1,600 at a place called Satire. But then I can see it, it goes as high as $2,000. But I like it. It's different in the sense that it has two um, aspects to it. It has a, a big heart in the front and then a little tiny heart uh, in front of the, the big heart. And so I think that's super cute um, that it's, it looks like it's two hearts on one, one smaller one and a bigger one behind it. Um, and so I think that's definitely an option. And I like the style of it. Um, I really do. Uh, price point, mm, not too shabby, not too shabby. I think you could get it for a cheaper uh, price if you look around. And I definitely um, uh, love the fact that it's leather. So that's definitely something that I might like think on my list. It's, it's very cute. All right, guys. Now this one, I don't, I haven't seen a lot on this bag. This one is the YSL heart bag. And when I looked that one up, they had a lot of different ones out there. Um, the one I like the, the most is the one that uh, kind of looks more like the um, Chanel heart bag. I like that style a little bit uh, better than some of the other YSL heart bags. So I think that's maybe the newer one. Um, and that's definitely an option. Um, not quite sure, you know, uh, the price point on it. Um, but I did see it at a uh, website that sells, you know, uh, vintage items. So I thought that was definitely an option too. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what the price is on that. Number 14 guy, Rebecca Minkoff, if you know her, she does a lot of uh, nice leather bags as well. She has a signature key that she tends to put on her bags. And this is no exception. The heart bag comes, uh, it's very similar to like the coach bag. It's a solid color. But then um, on this bag um, is a signature key. So um, it kind of represents her style. This bag, I, I like the fact that it is all leather. Um, the price point is, is decent too. It's around $2.98. Um, for me, uh, it is kind of, it seems a little bit tiny, uh, but definitely 
uh, is an option uh, for someone that's looking for something a little different from the, the regular um, uh, cross back, cross body um, heart bags. All right, guys. And last up on my list is number 15. And this one too, guys, haven't seen a lot about this one as well. I just happened to um, pull it up um, when I was looking for bags. And guys, this one here is by uh, Judith Lieber. Um, and I thought that she had a lot of uh, cute um, bags uh, available. I saw she has a nice little shiny sequin bag. I thought that was super cute. Um, so also, so if you're looking for something different, um, I saw one with the rainbow uh, look to it. So definitely she has a lot of cute bags. Um, now I will say price point rise. Um, it is uh, on the more expensive end. So um, definitely I've seen it them run as high as a thousand dollars um so if you want to spend that type of money hey i mean i think that that's definitely an option if you're looking for something different but yeah definitely keep that in mind so guys those are my 15 heart bags that i'm uh, looking at i think i'm leaning more towards you know maybe either the coach one the um case bay perhaps the um caperni or elia i think those are super cute options so let me know what you think and guys, um, if you're interested in this type of, of content, definitely subscribe below. And until I see you next time, take care, be healthy, and peace.